Welcome to strength and comfort in your golden years. In the golden years of life, the elderly often seek strength and comfort in their faith. Today we bring you a collection of inspiring Bible verses specially selected to uplift and encourage aging hearts. Isaiah 46 4 is a verse from the book of Isaiah in the Old Testament of the Bible. Let's break down the verse and provide an explanation, even to your old age and gray hairs. I am he, I am he who will sustain you. I have made you, and I will carry you. I will sustain you, and I will rescue you. This verse is a powerful assurance from God to his people, emphasizing his unchanging nature and his commitment to care for them throughout their lives, including their old age. Here's a closer look at the meaning of each part, even to your old age and gray hairs. This phrase acknowledges the natural process of aging. It assures the elderly that God's care and presence extend even into their old age, where gray hair is often symbolic of aging. I am he, I am he who will sustain you. God declares that he is the one who will provide support and sustenance to his people. He assures them that he will be with them, providing strength, guidance, and the resources they need to navigate their later years. I have made you and I will carry you. This statement reminds us that God is our creator. He takes responsibility for his creation and promises to carry and uphold his people, even in their times of weakness and frailty. It speaks to God's love and commitment to his children throughout their entire lives. I will sustain you and I will rescue you. Here God reaffirms his promise to sustain and rescue his people. He assures them that he will continue to care for them, delivering them from challenges providing help and meeting their needs. Overall, Isaiah 46. 4 offers comfort and reassurance to the elderly, reminding them that God's love and care extend to every stage of their lives, including their old age. It emphasizes his faithfulness, provision, and the assurance of his presence, bringing comfort and hope to those in their later years. Psalm 71. 9 is a verse from the book of Psalms in the Old Testament of the Bible. Let's explore its meaning. Do not cast me away when I am old. Do not forsake me when my strength is gone. This verse reflects the heartfelt plea of the psalmist, expressing a prayer to God for his continued presence and care in old age. Here's a breakdown of the verse, Do not cast me away when I am old. The psalmist acknowledges the vulnerability and potential feelings of abandonment that can accompany old age. It is a plea to God not to reject or push aside the elderly, simply because of their advanced years. Do not forsake me when my strength is gone. This line recognizes the physical and perhaps even emotional decline that can come with old age. The psalmist is asking God not to abandon them in their time of weakness when their strength is diminished. In essence, Psalm 71. Nine is a cry for God's ongoing presence and support throughout the aging process. It acknowledges the challenges and fears that can arise with old age and appeals to God's faithfulness and compassion to provide comfort, guidance, and strength. This verse serves as a reminder that even in our most vulnerable and frail moments, God remains with us. It speaks to the psalmist's desire for a deep and abiding relationship with God, seeking his companionship and assurance as they navigate the uncertainties and difficulties of old age. Psalm 92 14 is a verse from the book of Psalms in the Old Testament. Let's delve into its meaning. They will still bear fruit in old age, they will stay fresh and green. This verse conveys a message of vitality, productivity and spiritual flourishing, even in old age. Here's a breakdown of the verse, they will still bear fruit in old age. The imagery of bearing fruit represents productivity growth and the ability to make a positive impact. It suggests that even in old age, individuals can continue to contribute, make a difference and bring forth good things. They will stay fresh and green. This line depicts a state of freshness, vibrancy and spiritual vitality. It emphasizes that contrary to physical aging, the inner life and spiritual vigor of individuals can remain alive and flourishing in their later years. Overall, Psalm 92, 14 celebrates the idea that age does not diminish one's capacity for growth, impact and spiritual vibrancy. It offers encouragement and hope to the elderly, assuring them that they still have value, purpose, and the potential to make a positive difference in the world. The verse encourages the elderly to continue seeking God, growing in wisdom, and utilizing their experiences and gifts for the benefit of others and the glory of God.
Proverbs 16.31 is a verse from the book of Proverbs in the Old Testament of the Bible. Let's explore its meaning. Grey hair is a crown of splendor. It is attained in the way of righteousness. This verse highlights the honor and beauty associated with grey hair, symbolizing wisdom maturity and a life lived in alignment with God's principles. Here's a breakdown of the verse. Grey hair is a crown of splendor. In this context, grey hair is seen as a symbol of honor and dignity. It represents the accumulation of wisdom and experience that comes with age. Just as a crown adorns and signifies the importance of a person, grey hair is portrayed as a mark of distinction and beauty. It is attained in the way of righteousness. The verse suggests that grey hair is earned through a life lived in accordance with God's righteousness and moral values. It highlights the idea that the process of aging is not simply a physical phenomenon, but also a reflection of one's character and spiritual journey. Overall, Proverbs 16.31 encourages a positive perspective on aging and acknowledges the value of wisdom gained through a life of righteousness. It invites respect for the elderly, recognizing their experience and the lessons they can share. The verse also serves as a reminder to strive for a life characterized by righteousness as it leads to a crown of splendor that comes with the passage of time. Psalm 71, 18 is a verse from the Book of Psalms in the Old Testament. Let's explore its meaning. Even when I am old and gray, do not forsake me, my God, till I declare your power to the next generation, your mighty acts to all who are to come. This verse expresses the psalmist's desire for God's presence and guidance throughout their entire life, even in old age. It also reflects their intention to share the stories of God's power and mighty acts with future generations. Here's a breakdown of the verse, Even when I am old and grey, do not forsake me, my God. The psalmist acknowledges their dependence on God and pleads for His continued presence even as they grow old. It is a prayer for God's faithfulness and companionship throughout their aging process, till I declare your power to the next generation, your mighty acts to all who are to come. The psalmist expresses their desire to proclaim and testify about God's power and mighty works to the younger generation and future generations. They want to pass down the knowledge and experiences of God's faithfulness, ensuring that His works are remembered and celebrated by those who come after them. This verse reflects a sense of responsibility and mission for the psalmist. They recognize the importance of sharing their faith and passing on the knowledge of God's power and faithfulness to future generations. It emphasizes the role of the elderly in mentoring teaching and inspiring others with their wisdom and experiences. Overall, Psalm 71, 18 conveys a desire for God's presence in old age and an eagerness to pass on the stories of His power and faithfulness to the next generations. It encourages a legacy of faith and a commitment to ensure that God's works are remembered and celebrated by those who follow. Job 12.12 12 is a verse from the book of Job in the Old Testament. Let's explore its meaning wisdom is with the aged and understanding in length of days. This verse highlights the value and significance of wisdom and understanding that come with age and experience. Here's a breakdown of the verse, wisdom is with the aged. This phrase acknowledges that wisdom is often acquired over time and through life experiences. The verse recognizes that the elderly have a wealth of wisdom accumulated through the years gained from various life situations and lessons learned understanding in length of days. The verse emphasizes that as one grows older and has a longer span of days, they have the opportunity to develop a deeper understanding of life, its complexities and its deeper meanings. The idea is that with a longer life comes a broader perspective and a greater depth of understanding. Overall, Job 12.12 12 emphasizes the importance of honoring and valuing the wisdom and understanding that comes with age. It recognizes that the elderly have a unique perspective and insight to offer based on their accumulated experiences and the lessons learned throughout their lives. It encourages the recognition of the elderly as a source of wisdom and invites others to seek their counsel and learn from their life's journey. 2 Corinthians 4.16 is a verse from the New Testament of the Bible. Let's explore its meaning. Therefore we do not lose heart. Though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. This verse speaks to the enduring hope and inward transformation that believers experience even in the face of physical challenges and the effects of aging. Here's a breakdown of the verse, Therefore we do not lose heart. 
This phrase indicates that despite the difficulties and trials faced by the Apostle Paul and fellow believers, they maintain a sense of hope and perseverance. It encourages believers to remain steadfast in their faith and not give in to discouragement. Though outwardly we are wasting away, here Paul acknowledges the reality of physical decay and the effects of aging. He recognizes that our bodies may weaken and experience the signs of aging over time, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. This line brings a message of spiritual renewal and transformation. It suggests that despite the outward signs of physical decay, believers are continually renewed inwardly by the Holy Spirit. It speaks to the spiritual growth, resilience and strength that believers experience as they walk with God. Overall, 2 Corinthians 4.16 encourages believers to maintain hope and a sense of inner renewal, despite the challenges they may face in the physical realm. It reminds them that their true identity lies in their relationship with God and the ongoing spiritual transformation they experience. It invites believers to find comfort and strength in the inner renewal that comes from the presence of the Holy Spirit, even as they navigate the inevitable process of physical aging. Psalm 90 12 is a verse from the book of Psalms in the Old Testament. Let's explore its meaning. Teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. This verse serves as a prayer for divine wisdom and a reminder of the brevity and preciousness of human life. Here's a breakdown of the verse, Teach us to number our days. This phrase expresses a desire for God to help us recognize and appreciate the limited time we have on earth. It encourages us to be mindful of the passing of time, and to consider the significance of each day, that we may gain a heart of wisdom. The verse suggests that by understanding the fleeting nature of life, we can gain a perspective of wisdom and discernment. It implies that a conscious awareness of the brevity of life can lead us to make wise choices, prioritize what truly matters, and live in alignment with God's purposes. Overall, Psalm 90.12 reminds us of the importance of living intentionally and wisely, recognizing the transient nature of life. It encourages us to seek divine guidance and develop a heart of wisdom, allowing us to make the most of our time and live with purpose and meaning. By embracing the fleeting nature of our days, we are prompted to prioritize our relationship with God and the pursuit of His wisdom in all aspects of our lives. Isaiah 40, 29. 31 is a well-known passage from the book of Isaiah in the Old Testament. Let's explore its meaning. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. This passage offers encouragement and hope to those who may be feeling weary, weak or overwhelmed. It speaks to God's faithfulness in providing strength and renewal to those who put their trust in Him. Here's a breakdown of the verses he gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. This line emphasizes God's ability to empower and uplift those who feel depleted or lacking strength. It acknowledges that we all experience moments of weariness, but God is able to provide the strength needed to overcome challenges and continue forward. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. This phrase highlights the universal nature of human weakness and the limitations we all face regardless of age or physical vitality. It reminds us that even the young and seemingly strong can experience weariness and stumble in their journeys, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. This line presents a contrast between those who place their hope and trust in the Lord and those who rely solely on their own strength. It assures us that when we place our hope in God, He will renew our strength, revitalizing us and enabling us to persevere. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. These words paint a vivid picture of the strength and endurance God provides. It conveys the idea that those who rely on God will experience a supernatural empowerment, enabling them to soar above their circumstances, run without growing weary, and walk without becoming faint. Overall, Isaiah 40, 29, 31 offers comfort, assurance, and motivation to those who may be feeling weak or weary. It reminds us that God is our source of strength, and when we place our hope in Him, He will renew and empower us to overcome obstacles and continue our journey with endurance and vitality. 2. Timothy 4, 
7. 8 is a passage from the New Testament of the Bible. Let's explore its meaning. I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord the righteous judge will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. This passage is a reflection by the Apostle Paul near the end of his life, expressing his confidence in having fulfilled his calling and his anticipation of receiving a reward from God. Here's a breakdown of the verses I have fought. The good fight I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Paul uses metaphors of a fight and a race to describe his lifelong commitment to faithfully serving God. He asserts that he has remained steadfast in his faith and fulfilled his purpose in proclaiming the gospel. Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness. Paul anticipates a reward for his faithful service to God. The crown of righteousness symbolizes the recognition and honor that awaits him in the presence of God, which the Lord the righteous judge will award to me on that day. Paul acknowledges that it is God the righteous judge who will ultimately determine and bestow the reward. He places his confidence in God's judgment and sovereignty, and not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. Paul extends the hope of receiving the crown of righteousness to all believers who eagerly await the return of Jesus Christ. He highlights the inclusive nature of this reward, emphasizing that it is not exclusive to himself, but available to all who have remained faithful and anticipate the return of Christ. Overall 2 Timothy 4, 7. 8. Captures Paul's assurance and sense of fulfillment in faithfully carrying out his mission. It emphasizes the importance of perseverance, steadfastness in the faith, and the hope of receiving a reward from God. The passage also encourages believers to remain faithful, looking forward to the return of Jesus and the ultimate fulfillment of God's promises. Thank you for watching Strength and Comfort in your golden years. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more inspirational videos. May God bless you and keep you strong in your golden years.